Welcome back, everybody. Today's video is going to be a cool little take on the educational smurf lobby where instead of playing in the educational smurf lobby of average of 3500 i am going to be coaching one of the two teams really just talking to them about general game plan things rather than individual tips so what we're gonna see is what happens when one team is united under the vision of me while the other team who's allowed to communicate and work together is not let's go ahead and get started so neither of these two teams were told ahead of time which team was going to be getting coached. That is to make sure neither of them has prep time. We're not organizing drafts. We're not strategizing. This isn't meant to be an official match. This is meant to mimic a pub where one team is coached and the other one is not. I'm going to go ahead and flip a coin to see which team is getting coached by me today. And the result is heads. So I will be coaching the Radiant team. So let's go ahead and see just what difference a coach organizing a team will make. Hello, guys. Uh, hey, what's going on? So, Hi, coach. Yo. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm just like organizing the video and everything. So, basically, all I want to say is pick normal heroes that you would normally play. Don't need to ask me about items or anything like this. I'm not trying to be super invasive. I'm not going to tell you buy this, buy that, do this, do that. It's going to be stuff like, hey, it's four minutes. Like, let's check the runes or like, hey, seven minute wisdom runes are coming out. Like, you know, stuff like this. I'm going to tell you things that are important in the game and, you know, things to be thinking about as a team, right? That's what I'm here for. So it's not meant to be individual coaching sessions. We're just trying to make sure you guys are all on the same page and making sure we have like a similar vision of how we're going to win this game. So do your best to, you know, play your game. But I understand it's going to be a bit weird. Uh, Venno is my best uh, win rate hero at the moment. So yeah. I know it's not too meta, but... Uh... I like getting soccer here. I'll pick it. I want to go Bane, but it's not been, not been good. Not just to do it. People <laughs> tend to hit the Nightmare <laughs> Unit every time. Like every game I've played, they hit the Nightmare Unit. And then we oh, God. Die. Why are they... Why are they... Oh, my God. The so meta picks... My only concern right here now, is that we have no tower push right now. So if you play any of the tower pushing mids, that'd be great. If not, feel free to just pick Zeus. I don't want to like, I don't want you to pick heroes you don't I'm know I'm not even play. sure who, who, who the I'm tower I'm talking like Death is. Prophet, oh. Leshrac, DK, but you don't have to pick oh. these if you don't play them. Just DK. pick Zeus if, if you don't play this. Whatever feels comfortable. I, I just say pick, yeah. I, I'm just, this is just my first coaching thing, but if you want to pick Zeus, it's fine. Let's go. Oh, so go. we're the definitely stalling split. more for the late game. Uh, the only thing I want to say is we're going to establish like kind of what we understand about this game is that Earth Spirit's going to be rotating a lot more than Zeus. So we're going to have to kind of pay attention to what he's doing. Zeus is a much more farming mid. Anti-Mage doesn't really rotate. So we're going to need to be like only playing around Night Stalker's timings. He's really the only one that's going to be making space for us in the early to mid game. Um, but we have a lot of damage with the supports and Zeus to follow him up. Okay, so it's just, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for anti-mage farming, but Night Stalker getting plays made towards him or him coming to plays. Uh, that's what I'm going to be looking for. So if it's like daytime, Night Stalker is not powerful. If you have a bad lane, then our plays are going to be delayed. That's all I want to make sure we're on the same page about before we go in and let's go ahead and play our game. So I'm going to occasionally be muting myself like now. Um, just to talk to you guys uh, about the fact that, uh, like, what I see in this draft. So I see that they have a lot more meta picks than we do. We don't have tower push. We're looking at, like, a game where we have a lot of damage, but we may not be able to dish it out, and they have a lot of AoE heals and a save. So it's going to be a lot about making sure that we take the proper fights using Vision, because we have Zeus and Night Stalker and Venno, all these Vision heroes, but they have much better 5v5. Let's chill back here for a second. Let's try not to Well, I, I can see everything. Like, we see everything. Yeah. Yeah, Let's just stay up here and see if someone walks up. Someone's sitting over there. You guys can use Night Stalker Vision to get a good ward on mid. Like you can check the tower to see sure, if it attacks sure. you, and Night Stalker will see if they're there. We do see Dazzle though. Dazzle yeah, we saw Dazzle. See, they don't see us. They will not see us. I'm gonna walk by the street. Like we can ready to kink them when they walk up. They probably saw that. Okay, it's fine. Just, just walk away. They're not coming for this. Okay, so for the sake of this video, as well as this isn't really like a pub, you guys are overly communicating. So go ahead and make okay, sure you play sorry. your games. It's fine, I understand. Sure, sure, it's sure. totally fine. Um, but I want the majority of team communication to be me. Just if you need like your support to pull or something like that, you know, obviously okay. be happy to talk to them. Sounds good.
So it is going to be Dawn Breaker mid instead of Earth Spirit. So I'm just going to be keeping an eye out for when Dawn six. And we need to make sure we don't overcommit the plays. Nice. You can look to pull the hard camp bottom. Check and see if they're pulling small on Hoodwink. Let your Night Stalker have solo. Oh my god. Just be careful of getting caught by Poison Touch, but soak the XP on Hoodwink. That was late to the ward. So they're pretty low resources bottom, but they have an urn on Earth Spirit. So when you're up on Veno, since they have no mana, you can look to be very aggressive with your anti mage. Oh. Earth Spirit, no mana. Next support that dies if you don't mind. Uh, keep in mind to maybe come in for a bottle. First Spirit walks up, kill him with Gale. Yeah, don't let him get that. It's okay. Careful top. Under under tower, tower, poison touch. Out. Yep, chill under tower. You have a uh, Venge looking at you mid. Be careful coming from behind you. Look to connect to your spirit on the side, Ernst Mitch. You guys can turn this on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, you guys are really strong. They have no mana. That's his last bit of mana. Be careful of Venge Wave of Terror on, Ve on Venno. Fly yourself more region on Venno. You need like a Salve, Tangos. Make sure you're powerful to, t to fight them. I think side was pulled. Yeah. You should block the camp if you can. Yeah, I've been trying to, just haven't had a good opportunity I'm going to now. Your spirit's back to base right now, I think. You guys can go on Venge real quick with a Gale, if you can. Oh, he's back now. That's my bad. Just use a Gale. Use a Gale. Burn their mana and just don't take too much damage on anti -Mage. Yep, this is good. In these cases, as support, it's sometimes just best to die if you don't have the regen ahead of time. Thank you. Alright, we can be more aggressive. I have all of health, but we can't be more aggressive. Actually, I'm just gonna sell. I if you're saving up for Battle Fear components on Antimage, try to get to the Secret Shop to get your item whenever you can. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, but uh, like the creature are here, so I don't know what to do. Try to hit the creeps forward if you can in the future. You'll try to clear okay. the wave. So it's going to be in your tower this time. After this wave, you should have time to go over. Venge is missing. Might be top, maybe. Six-minute runes coming out. Try to make sure you're there on Hoodwink. Top. 
Dawn is six, so we don't want to commit for any kills. We have to be very wary of their counterplay. Yeah, now's a good time to go to the secret shop on anti -Mage. Just watch out for Dawn ulti. They're going on Zeus mid. This is good. We have three heroes here. Ruin stopped. Take it, take it. It's fine. I'm going back to top. Going back to the bottom. Uh, seven minute runes are coming out. So I think we just mainly worry about defending the top one. I think it's going to be tough to get the bottom one. Careful of Don ulti. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm Overcommitted. It's up. okay, though. Uh, Zeus, can you look to go towards the venture? Should be a free kill. Okay, he's already nice. dead. When you're engaging uh, near a core's lane, make sure you call out to them. Cores will be busy CSing. Got it. So Dawn ulti is on cooldown. We have Zeus ulti as well. I think we can force this Earth Spirit to use spells without overcommitting. Anti Mage is almost six, so when this wave comes up, if Earth, if Earth Spirit's like over here, be ready to go on him. Like just use Gale on him, blink on him, stuff like this. Like walk up He's aggressively on Zeno. Look for the Earth Spirit around here. Yeah, it's okay if you don't find him. Nice kill, nice. pop. Not diving. Not good. Don't force it now, because uh, Dawnbreaker ulti is going to be up soonish on the bottom lane. So we're kind of chilling. And Venge was around. You can just clear the wave forward on Anti-Mage. Yeah, because he's going to do that where the wave gets hit pretty hard. I need help. I'm almost there. I'm very low mana, though. But TP, can we turn it? Don't look like it. I'm going to back up and just uh, stop myself. Be wary, Don ulti again. It should be up now. If they, if any lane does aggressive moves on you, know that's why they're doing it. Don is coming bottom. I saw Don coming. No, she's back mid. Yep, just keep pulling bottom on Venom. We're avoiding all contact because of Don ulti. So we just always want to think about whether we want to fight the opponent based on cooldowns. So anti mage should be good to farm under his tower after that camp. We almost have Night Stalker ulti. There's a Lotus to your left on Night Stalker. Sorry, I need to take that. With uh, Night Stalker 6, I want to make a move on the 10-minute kill here. I want you to... Yeah. Uh, go ahead and do your thing, actually. Free uh, I'm going to this... get this wave and I'm going to run mid. Yeah. I just get out, guys. It's a bad play. We cannot commit our mobility spells against Donalty. I'll say it one last time. Yeah. So when Dawn has ulti, we need to make plays on Dawn, which is mid. When she doesn't have ulti, we can make plays on side lanes. So now she does not have ulti. So I actually want Venno to TP mid while Zeus TPs bottom. Because they have no ultis. So I actually want... Okay, anti-mage is low. Uh, never mind. Scratch that play. Let Zeus go mid. Anti-mage is too low. You can actually go on him here and just use, make him use a bunch of rune and mana and stuff. Yeah. Nice play top. Oh, no. Oh, okay. You saved. Nice. We have Zeus ulti. We can go. We can keep going. Yeah, you guys this can actually up. be very aggressive on Gyro here. He should die. You ready with Zeus ulti? Nice. All right, we're, I'm running out. Uh, if I can. Not, okay. I can't do anything. Dawn TP top. 
Putting a little pressure on mid with the catapult. Dazzle's respawning. Our anti-mage is getting space while Gyro's dying. So this is all good by my book. Uh, Night Stalker needs to TP top and farm that. And Hoodwink can uh, look to go elsewhere. Because this is just a daytime Night Stalker that's useless. And he wants to get XP. So we play behind Zeus mid. We can look to just play around Zeus right now. Most of our plays are defensive because your playmaker is useless. Careful bottom. We are purely avoiding contact with them at all costs. Like if they try to fight us, we're just defending ourselves. And maybe if they extend too far, we'll get a play. But like we can hit them with spells and stuff when they do this as long as we don't overcommit. They're pressuring bottom a bit. Anti-Mage is getting gone on. Be careful. Nice reflect. Very nice re TPs. I like this a lot. You can cancel on Zeus. Cancel on Zeus. Yeah, yeah. I'm headed back towards mid. Yep, 12 minute rune coming out. Top. I'm careful find of the hammer. Nobody is. That was not his bottom. Restore to stop. Restore to stop. You guys can be very aggressive on bottom. If Anti-Mage comes out of the jungle, like, uh, walk uh, this way, if you see my drawing. No, I don't. Um, no, I don't. I'm going to walk mid. I have ult. We do see pings. You guys can run at this Dazzle. There you go. Yeah, like, this Dazzle's alone, guys. Uh, so push the creep wave, and if he shows again, you can blink on him. I have ulti. Yeah, oh, go, go, go. Cool. See this? Mm. Yeah, I see I that. We can look at me. Oh, I'm dead. Anyway. Dazzle TP, Dazzle TP. Okay. Put a little pressure on bottom. Can you uh, stay bottom on Venom? Come back to here. Whoever shows bottom is by themselves. They have no Dawn ulti. So these are the times we need to make plays or be ready to make plays. It's not about like having to make a play, but stand like right here. Super aggressive on Venom. Assume somebody's going to defend this tower. If they come from here, you have a ward, so your, your anti mage can connect. Be ready to connect on anti-mage right here. See this dazzle? Okay, now Earth Spirit's going. We have Veno ulti. This is good. They do not have Dawn ulti. Good. Back off. Dawn's coming. Yep, this is good. Good, good, good. Back off. We're forcing reactions. Just get out. You can keep farming that small camp on anti-mage. You're good. Now they're reacting to us. 14 minute rune is coming out. Wisdom top. Dawn is bottom with no ulti. Just keep running on anti-mage. Keep, keep running. I believe in you, buddy. Oh, oh God. Our anti-mage is dead. It's fine. <laughs> Night Stalker's ulti is available in 50. Dawn will have ulti around that same time. I want a hoodwink to walk top. And then Venno to TP top in about 30 seconds. And we're going to make a play with Night Stalker getting smoked to somewhere else. Like, I'll see what the map looks like when that happens. Bottom okay, tower is going to die. Not a big deal. Dog. We have Phylactery on Zeus. We're pretty strong. Make sure you defend mid-wave on Zeus. Your job is to just make sure not everybody on our team is missing right now. Anti-Mage is still in farm mode. I'm pausing if you don't. Okay, you're AFK. <laughs> you're, you're not AFK. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Please. You're fine. Venno, go ahead and TP top after you clear that camp. Do we have a smoke available on one of you two? We do. Let's go ahead and TP top on Venno, on Venno right now, please. I want you guys to back up out of vision of that gyro and smoke. Right now, smoke. Go towards uh, go towards mid here, like this. Me first, big vision. Remember Dawn ulti, guys. So unless it's Dawn, you want to force them to Dawn ulti without committing. Be ready closer to your Night Stalker, guys. He's your playmaker. Okay. Perfect. Dawn ulti's coming in. You guys can fight. You guys can fight. It's a good fight. Then swap. Help your supports in the back on Night Stalker. Help your supports in the back. Uh, 
Uh, can we cancel his roll? Ah, it's okay. You're still strong. Very good job, guys. Somebody go farm bottom. It's probably Night Stalker in this case. Is there anything we can do about their try stacks? Uh, it's up to Zeus, I'd say, but I see you guys are pretty low, so it's tough. We're just chilling for farm now. We need to reset our resources a bit. Uh, we have Night Stalker Shard if you want to buy it. So you can get your resources back up. So we don't have any wards. I think even like uh, mid ward is nice. Like if since you just dewarded like a ward here. Yeah, that works too. So right now we're kind of back to farm mode until Night Stalker ulti in 60 and Zeus ult in 60. We just always need to play around our ultimates. Be super cautious of them making plays. They're stronger without ultimates than we are. So on supports, like generally sitting mid when you don't have ults is bad. So like one of you can sit mid behind Zeus, but the other one should be looking to like protect other lanes. Careful on Come anti -mage. On Yeah, yeah th that's where they're coming from if they're there. Let's get defensive wards up. Maybe this hill as well for your anti mage. Perfect. Your only their only target right now is really Night Stalker. So just just keep in mind we're defensive. That's all I really care about us knowing. Maybe we need to help our anti mage uh, clear the stack. Okay, I need you to go back to base on Antimage. Oh. I need you to blink, like, right here and just base. I need you to be not zero HP. Can you TP base? I have a solid Just TP base, me. please. Sorry, it, please listen not? to me okay. and TP base. I'm not trying to individually micro. I just need my Antimage to be on the map. Like, meaning uh, not a liability, basically. So we have Zeus ulti. Have we have there. Night Stalker ulti. Let's clear top wave really quickly. Um, Antimage, I want you to just jungle. Okay, so we're now ready to make a play. Uh, Anti-Mage can just keep farming. Make sure you use that salve. Let's push the wave top and then make a play with Night Stalker. So push the wave. Um, since we have no tower push, we want to smoke together and run across the map on the minimap. See this? We're not, no, we're not no, making any up. plays around towers. Dawn is actually top. We might be able to kill her. She's retreated this way. So use Night Stalker vision. It's really good if we find Dawn. You found her. Yep. Good. If we catch the Hoodwing Stone, it's good. Yes, we can cons we can pursue. They're going on you with Earth Spirit. Dawn has Shard. Nice. Cancel. We're going to want to back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Kite backwards. I think this is I think this is over. If we can get out on Zeus. You might be able to kill that guy since you have a shield ring. No. Go ahead and push mid on Anti-Mage. Um, on Night Stalker, I need you to be a bit more wary of your teammates' positioning. You're much faster than them. So if okay. you go a bit early, it just gives them a long time to react. Go ahead and push bottom on uh, Anti-Mage as well. Let's prioritize lanes since they're dead. The plays we make need to be fast because they have saves. They have Venge, they have Dazzle. So if we like chase for a really long time um, and give them time to react, they'll probably win. Uh, I would not DP there. Be very wary on Venno. Uh, don't worry about instructing your teammates. I understand what you're saying, but let's not talk about that. Okay. Let's focus on pushing lanes out. Anti-mage, go bottom, please. So they're all top right now. So we want to play defensively postured to this side of the tower. Like, we're just defending this tower. We're not trying to go on them. We're just dragging creeps backwards. We're making sure they don't go on us. Yes, this is very good. Anti-mage is pressuring bottom a bit. You can go jungle this camp afterwards. As long as they're showing, you can be on top. map. But if they're not showing, you can't be on map on anti-mage. Like, you can't show if they are missing. So just blink okay. backwards now. Looks like they went towards our anti-mage. So they're now playing this half of the map, which means we can now go this way with our heroes. Meaning clearing waves. We have Night Stalker ulti in 20. We have Zeus ulti in 20. I'd say we're just going to push mid right now. And we're just going to group four heroes top with the intent to take the tower, but we're not actually, like, we don't actually want to fight them unless they chase into us. So no smoke required. You guys can just walk behind your Night Stalker. They're all missing. I imagine they're here, just based on where they're pushing lanes. Wisdom Rune is coming out as well. 
When you're pushing towers like this, unless it's absolutely necessary, it would be better to not show on Zeus. Okay, you can show or not show. It never mind. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Let's plop Venom Wards down. Defensive posturing. They would come from this direction. This is a this is way too aggressive. I need you over here. We don't know where they are. We have absolutely no clue where they are. They're missing entirely, and Dawnbreak Ult is available. Use the Night Stalker Ult. Night Stalker Ult, they're here. Yes. We can bait spells. Bait. Do not overcommit. Um, let's spray this box. This is perfect. Good baiting. Good baiting. We have Night Stalker Vision. We can look to use Zeus Ulti to snipe the Gyro. Zeus Ult. Nice. Perfect. Kite their spirit backwards. He BKB. Our, our lineup's really good for kiting backwards. Nice job, guys. Anti-mage space. Don't overcommit. Keep kiting. This is really good kiting. That is not good kiting. No. <laughs> Please no. stop oh, looking into the... <laughs> uh, it's okay. I got overconfident. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty safe to say you'll never do that for the rest of the game. Meaning, like, there's never a correct time to do that against no. their lineup. <laughs> you can push the next wave on anti-mage. They were all top. It's all good. It's the, the things I'm trying to teach you guys is like mindset things, like what your abilities are used for, like how we're winning fights. That's what I'm trying to teach you in this game. So like where you're kiting them backwards, we're forcing them to use swap, to use grave, to use their dawn ulti. And then when they chase us, we kill them on the way back. That's how we, that's how we win these fights. So mm. yeah, use your spells and uh, positioning accordingly. We have Night Stalker ulti in 50. Um, instead yeah, of pipe, I want items like gold. force staff. Um, I want items that do exactly what I said, where we kite them backwards. Can definitely use a, like a solar crest on... Uh, we want buffs from one of the two supports. So I think Hoodwink's the better solar crest builder, since you're richer. Our anti-mage will eventually need some help when he gets in there. Okay, so we have our spells again in 10. Let's push out top wave really quickly. Um, they're missing, but like just push the wave defensively as fast as you can. They're around here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, I want you guys I, to back up and actually uh, smoke uh, towards Night Stalker. So I want you to smoke without an anti-mage. Let him farm. Go towards Night Stalker like this. Night Stalker, can you meet them in the middle? Uh, look at the 24 minute rune. That's where Dawn's gonna be. Be ready to pop Night Stalker ulti. In this spot. Dawn's a perfect target. Perfect target. You guys can go. Night Stalker ult. Go, go, go. Per oh. Here. It's okay. Great. You can look to chase more. You guys are really strong. Do not retreat on the map. You guys are so strong. Anti Mage, keep pushing creep waves. Don't need to overcommit for anything. You can just keep running at them and kiting backwards. This is great. You're too fast. You're too fast. This is fantastic. Perfect. What you're doing on Night Stalker now is really good. So now that Vino has no ulti, just TP top. On Vino specifically. Yeah, and the rest of you are kind of just controlling this area. It's going to be daytime for 20 seconds or so. So we're super chill. When they respawn, we are ultra being chill. So we can farm creep like camps it. and go backwards now. Like you can even... Uh, hmm. It's clear mid on Zeus. Clear mid on Zeus. We're not like chasing kills. You guys are running at heroes. Just keep clearing camps. Or keep creep waves and camps. All I want us is the same page that when we're fighting them and when we're not. When we're not fighting them, it's camps, waves, avoiding them. When we are fighting them, it's pushing a wave and smoking. So we don't have our abilities for a bit. Antimage almost has his basher, so he'll be able to start participating a bit. Can you see our pings? I cannot. I don't see any pings. Okay. I'll look to fix that in the future. You can keep advancing forward on Venno. Like, if they bring three or four heroes to kill you, you need to be further forward on Venno. 
Like your pressure here is really important because if they they're not here right now, they were all here, so they would have to TP like three heroes to kill you. So be cautious with your positioning, but like you know, gale the wave, back up a little bit, don't just hit it. Yeah, perfect. But I need you to stay advanced on the map. Yeah, this is good. Zootulti in five. Let's clear that wave bottom on anti mage and TP top. I want you guys to actually fight this. Clear mid on Hoodwink and go top. Like, this is a really good time for us to have favorable numbers. Be ready to fight here, top guys. Be ready. They're all there. Waves are good for us. Anti-Mage is connecting. Same game plan as always. They're chasing in on our Vino. This is really good. Oh, don't overcommit into Dawn ulti. This is really good. Perfect. We can keep going. Like, you guys are so fucking strong. Chase, like, with impunity. Just don't get bursted on anti-mage. That's the only concern. Perfect. Uh, oh, God. I got okay. bursted. <laughs> it's okay. Our Night Stalker snipe in the Dazzle. Kite backwards. Gyro's BKB is out. Gyro has no BKB. You guys can look to re-engage. Night Stalker has to connect. Just outrange the Gyro. He can't do anything. Just keep outranging them. Keep kiting. This is perfect. You're just supplying vision on Night Stalker. You don't have to hard commit on anything. Very good job, guys. Reset resources on anybody who needs to. Night Stalker can just use shard, I assume. Yep. Really good job, guys. Go push bottom. Go push mid on any heroes that can. We're in lane push mode again. Night Stalker's pushing top. 28 minute wisdom rune is coming out. 28 minute real rune is coming out. So Zeus, I want you to TP bottom right now and uh, push that out and try to head mid. Um, in fights, push bottom. TP bottom, push it out, head okay. mid. Yeah, Hoodwink, push out mid again. They're all respawning, so like we need to clear waves now, but then when they're respawned, we need to be careful. So they're all respawning now. So Roche is on the docket. On Night Stalker and Anti-Mage, everything you do is poking them. Like, you are blinking on them. You are running into them to force reactions. If you hard commit, you will fucking die. You both have felt it already. So let's no hard commitments. We want to keep forcing them to use spells to defend themselves. That's what we are doing. If they do that, they lose. Night Stalker, ult in 30. Zeus ult in 30. Dawn has pure damage items. No mobility to catch you guys. On Zeus, I want you to go Manta to clear waves. Uh, not Ags. Can we try and Torm soon? Uh... Yes, actually. Go ahead and clear mid-wave with, uh, the next mid-wave. With those, with the two supports. Anti-Mage is top. Um... So clear that. Don't need three heroes, actually. Um... Okay, this is hard for you guys to coordinate. Uh, pause for a second. I'm sorry. Pause. Um, I appreciate the suggestions. I'm sorry. Like, it's actually a totally normally normal thing to say fine. Uh, let's just avoid it for now. It's, like, overwhelming me to, um, have that happen. So, Sounds good. uh, yeah, no, no hard feelings here. So, when it comes to general game plan, I'll try to make sure I remember all this stuff. If I forget anything, like, it's a Tormentor, then sadly, you're just not going to do Tormentor. <laughs> uh, like, it just is what it is. Um, yeah, so I was, we were trying to tell, like, the teammates that. It would be cool. No, I'm saying that, like, that is a general communication that I'm holding myself responsible for right now. So if somebody else does it, it actually just makes it hard for... Because think about this. I'm telling them how to play the map, and then you're mentioning something that we could possibly do. And it's mm. then, like, um, now they're going to think about your thing, and then they're going to... Some of them will be thinking about my thing, and then it's going to be, like, that's why. So it's totally Sounds normal good. communication when you don't have a me backseating you <laughs> uh so it, that, that's why i'm pausing because it's like understandable um but let's avoid um like basically play your own hero and communicate things that somebody like if you say night stalker let's do tormentor right now that's fine but don't like suggest okay. things to the team um kind of thing okay sorry about that we can go i like the drums purchase on Vino. so let's look to head towards top with all but zeus Night Stalker's kind of supplying the vision. They took Aegis. We kind of got caught with our pants down a little bit there. So that means they're all top. Zeus can stay mid to clear it. Anti-Mage can keep farming neutrals. Night Stalker's supplying vision for the supports because we might be able to find a good fight here. But we don't... Like, it, we kind of just have to wait and see. So Zeus can keep going mid. We're kind of being patient right now. If they overcommit, like maybe Venge walks up this hill. 
If he doesn't, it's fine. We're clearing another wave. I'm separated from you. They're they're over chasing, I think. If Hoodwink has buyback, this might be good. Hoodwink has buyback. Can you buy back? Nice. We got Dazzle. Don't let them get out, but like remember, it's all poke. We're all poke. Just keep po this is great. Don't overcommit into the Donaldy. We're trying to kill Venge in the back. Gyro has Aegis. Reset a little bit. BKB used on her spear. Gyro's alone, but this is all poke. All of this is poke. No hard commit. Zeus is Zeus needs to show up for this. I I, I do I have to tell you this? What, what's happening? I, I'm not gonna explicitly tell you to show up to your team fights. Be careful. Be careful. Disengage. We're forcing reactions, guys. No hard commitments. That message is always there. Now, the, the they're rolling away. We can poke them again. We have a lot of poke. Poke, poke, poke. This is perfect. Oh. Very nice stun. Very nice. Uh, Zeus or Hoodwing, go push mid. Anti-Mage can push top. If I call team fights, I expect everybody to get there. I don't care how it is that you get there, but you get there. I shouldn't look and see somebody else just randomly not there. Nice. First tower or tower top is taken. Let's go. So I want you to farm up here on Anti-Mage. Advance on the map because you they are dead on gyro basically. So we see yeah, the see Venge bottom. Better. That means likely the rest of the team. So Don TP top. So what I see here is that Night Stalker ulties up in 20, so I want you to run towards the team. Basically, if anybody on their team TP's bottom here, we have the numbers top. So be ready to do all this on everybody. Like, I want this to be happening over the next 20 seconds on everybody. I want us all connecting on top tier two like this. Or you guys can do this. Like, don't see that this is the direction I don't want anti mage going. Like, this, I want you guys to connect as a team. Be a little patient on supports because your cores are slow. It's fine. Push the wave on anti mage. Looks like they might have a ward there. So I'm going to need you guys to back up and smoke if we have one. Back up and smoke. I want Anti-Mage to join this. Smoke right now. They're on our Venno wards. Find Dazzle. Dazzle. Dazzle with old Night Stalker ult. Dazzle. Nice. Beautiful. Chase if we can. Chase, chase, chase. No hard commitments. Poke, poke, poke. Venge is a good target. Not the rolling Mr. Earth Spirit guy. Nice. This is really good. Kite back. Kite BKBs. Night Stalker is good for vision. Since you don't have BKB, just keep providing vision. That's really good. Okay, fight's over. Night Stalker ulties down. We have to get out. Somebody TP bottom. Probably Venno. Anti-Mage is uh, fine too. Venno, you can stay. Or Night Stalker can stay. Generally, anti mage, since you're strong, do you know I don't want you TPing away. I want you to like go top. Okay. It's all good though. You can go and push. So we TP'd our anti mage bottom, which means everybody yeah, top needs to get the away. fuck out. Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of here. Our anti mage TP'd bottom. So we are super weak top, and they know that. That's why this TP from anti mage generally isn't good. But if our teammates do these things, we need to know. So we need to now gravitate everything we do this way, because that's where our anti mage went. So t we can push mid really quickly. We need to make sure when our teammates TP like this that we don't randomly get caught. It's not the end of the world. It just changes that no we don't play bottom. So now we're doing this. anti mage can go another wave because they're all top. Uh, Zeus can swing back to mid just to clear that wave. You can actually use Manta for that and go back to the team. Yeah, yeah. So anti mage is our strongest hero now. We generally want to be playing on the same part of the map as him. Night Stalker ulties up in 20. So every time your ulti is available or like close to available, I want you to start making your way towards the team on Night Stalker. That's just a general okay. thing for you to do. Be careful. Like think about how you're connecting and making sure you don't just like get pecked off. So if you need to TP, it's fine. They're all bottom right now. So what's going to happen is uh, we want to clear mid wave really quickly. 
on probably oh, Hoodwink because Night Stalker sucks at that. I want us to connect between the, like, right here, like, uh, as a team. So Vino's going to push bottom really quickly. Let's all regroup, and we're going to smoke again because we have all of our shit. Um, on Zeus, TP top really quickly. Clear that and connect back to the team. So everybody join together like this. That includes my anti-mage. I need everybody to do this. So Zeus is going to push top. We're going to group and push mid. So notice how my goal is to get you guys to push the waves and then group so that we can do something. So now we're all grouped. We smoke. They're all bottom. So we're going to head this direction. We want to check for wards on the high ground. We want Night Stalker to lead. We know they're there. Same game plan. Kite, kite, kite. Ult on Night Stalker for vision. Be careful of overcommitting. Dazzle's the best target. He has to die or be silenced. Nice hoodwink stun. Holy shit. Our anti-mage is low. So it's all about the range damage dealers to kite. Anti-mage is getting gone on in the back, guys. But focus the gyro. You're fine. Very good. You're going to keep going? Oh, never mind. Oh, I did it. All good. No, I don't I'm think you need way. to chase that guy. He's super tanky. Take the tower on Nightstalker. You actually are the only right clicker left. So true. I think it's good that you put yourself in there, Anti Mage. But we want to kite a little bit better. Like you, your your heroes on your team will do a ton of damage. Like your supports will do damage. So you don't always have to hit. Like you can blink in, hit like twice, and run away, kind of thing. Um, just to oh. preserve your own life a little bit better. Um, so in this case, uh, Zeus, I want you to run towards top because you don't really contribute to this. So in this case, like, I'm fine if Night Stalker, Hoodwink, and Venno, like, siege, because they're dead, but we're not, like, hard committing to this Rax, so we're going to prioritize clearing waves on other heroes. Maybe go for range. Like, force a, force a fortification. Yeah, back up, back up. Yeah, that's great. Fantastic. And you guys can just farm backwards. Like, farm the jungle together left. Play towards our vision, which is down here. Night Stalker can, like, eat an Ancient if he wants, but 45 seconds on everything. Once again, our Zeus ulti and Night Stalker ulti about the same cooldown. So I actually want Night Stalker to quickly run bottom. Clear this, like, quickly. Or should I go next? Ignore like... camps. Uh, TP top, farm the Ancients and everything on Anti-Mage. I don't know if that's who I was talking okay. to. Everyone else yeah, stay yeah. top. So Night Stalker, you can use Silence to clear the wave. It does AoE. Yeah. So we're going to regroup again because we have Night Stalker ulti in 20. Be careful top. Like, this is the whole point where we're dodging fights for 20 seconds. Night Stalker clears this wave bottom and he joins you guys. So you can go ahead and uh, clear wave mid on Hoodwink or somebody. You want to take the portal. Yeah, that's fine. Just like a quick nuke on mid wave. And then we're going to re regroup again. Do we have a smoke? If we don't, it's fine. Okay, uh, it's if we... in, it wasn't my quarter. Okay, go do this together. Just together. We don't have to necessarily... Uh, you have a smoke now. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and smoke towards your Night Stalker. Be very careful on Night Stalker. Don't be overzealous. We, we see them. We see them on yeah, this. Connect so like this. Yeah, be patient. Be patient oh, on Night me, Stalker. Actually. Patience. This is great. Be ready to Night Stalker ulti when your team gets closer. They have a ward up there, I believe. Yeah, you're going to have to use Night Stalker ulti to kind of trump that vision. Be careful over here. Yeah, yeah. Same game plan, guys. Nice target. Nice support targeting. Chase more. Gyro, Gyro, Gyro. We have Basher on anti-mage. Go Gyro, go Gyro, go Gyro. Mm. Out? It Bash, might be Bash. late. No, we don't have it. It's fine. Is Roche up? Can you check on Night Stalker? Somebody uh, push the wave. Oh, I'll check again. Nice D ward. Zeus TP uh, mid. Your wave clear duty on all this stuff. Um, buy bots next. On Zeus. You just have to be careful over here. Yeah, Zeus, Zeus, Zeus. Okay. No, no, no. Just cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Zeus needs to fend for himself. Use Manta and go towards the team. So whenever we TP away like this, our goal is to push a wave and reconnect. What's happening with Zeus? Do you need me to pause? No, I need to show Okay, go towards your team now. You're done mid. You're done mid. Leave him alone. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the use the illusions properly. Our goal here is to keep going. We can keep going top, guys. They don't have fort. We're not forcing a fight. We're just forcing them to defend. So if they present all of their heroes here, it's fine. But like anti mage can hit. There's no way they burst you. So just like you're, this is purely to force reactions. We're not diving. We're not fighting. If they go on us, we're just getting out. So we're just sieging. This is perfect. Now, anti-mage can TP bottom. Everybody else gets out. Two people clear mid. Anti-mage TP bottom, perfect. 
And we're going to regroup mid after Anti-Mage clears a wave or two. So nobody get All caught right. top. Now they're going to see that you're top, but since we forced them... Or that you're bottom, but since we forced them all top, we can kind of like kite them backwards like this. So go towards your anti-mage, generally speaking. Night Stalker has ulti in 20. Don't get caught by Earth Spirit. We're not fighting yet. This is all elusiveness. Just get out. Yep, perfect. So Night Stalker's coming through the portal. We're now going to be strong down here. This is great. This time around, we do want to fight them because we have all of our shit. That's the only difference between now and last time. I'm gonna check Roche. They're all top. If it's up, we should get it. Yeah, that's great. I actually think it should be Venno camping Roche. Have Night Stalker with the team next time, but it's fine. Uh, let Venno stay near Roche. Oh, he's there. He's there. Roche is up. You guys can take it. They are bottom, so if we have a ward, we should place it. But we can just have Venno ward everywhere. Just have Venno place a bunch of wards. We need, like, the Solar Crest and shit to be used. Can we scan in the middle of the lane? Just, okay, so they are coming. Uh, I think you guys will complete it in time, but if they get there before you finish... Hmm... Finish it, and then... Oh, go ahead, Night Stalker ulti now. Yeah. Cheese on the ground, cheese on the ground. If Night Stalker can get it. We have Aegis on Anti-Mage. BKBs are going to be out, Night Stalker's going to cheese. We can totally re-engage. We don't have Zeus, though. It's only if you get the supports on Night Stalker. It looks a bit tough. Yep, this is good patience, guys. Nice! Holy shit. We have anti-mage ulti. Nice stalker uh, ulti's out. Just, uh, just get out, guys. Just get out. Uh, it's absolutely essential Zeus does not die. So, whatever it takes for us to make that not happen in the future. If that means more preserve conservative positioning on Zeus, then that's what it means. Yeah, it looks like if Zeus is dead, we lack damage. So, let's go ahead and push out mid, push out top. All good. We, uh, Night Stalker will have ulti when he's up. We need, uh, the supports to come back to base. We need to use Fort now. We need to be poking, but not get caught. Be very careful of Earth Spirit. Good, good, good. So we need to protect Zeus. He's Mr. President. Let's go in Fort again. Anti-Mage can look to jump Dazzle in the back, but we're, that only if, like, they dive your team, probably. Zeus needs to actually cast spells on the wave. Like, we need you to use spells. I'm trying to, without getting too close. Okay. Okay. We're already low, just rest in base. Yep, chill a little bit. Get, get HP on Anti-Mage. I'm gonna run for Wizarding. I can TP. Um, don't fight bottom. Just let the Zeus Illusions push out. We're gonna make we our way back towards top, moment. guys. I want to get out on the map. Zeus Illusions will push bottom. Um, if you have the bots on Zeus, I really need you to have those for our game plan to work. It's on your courier. I see. Okay, let's go ahead and move towards top. If this Venge goes for another wave, he dies. We're trying to snipe people on waves now. So, let Zeus Manta push mid. Anti-Mage, I need you to prioritize hitting, uh, people, or looking to kill people who go on waves. Now that you have your Abyssal, I assume you have buyback as well. Oh, you don't quite have buyback. Okay, go ahead and farm jungle camps for your buyback towards top. Make sure you fly your bots out to you on Zeus. After that, Kai Assange, please save buyback on Zeus. What was that? After Kai Assange, say buyback. Be careful, uh, they are here. here. We have Night Stalker ulti. Same game plan. If you can jump supports on Anti Mage, it's super good. Looks like Night Stalker's got Dazzle. 
Don ulti used. Kite the BKBs. Holy. Your Zeus is dead again. I think we're just retreating. Just retreat. Oh god, I couldn't I couldn't blink. I couldn't use the BKB. I got okay. greedy there. I should have used the BKB earlier. It's okay, guys. We're just not using spells properly. It's all good. Uh, we need Venno to set up a bunch of wards top. We need Hoodwing to be ready to defend. Hood Hood wards on tier 3. Yeah, wards on tier 3. Night Stalker, clear the next wave bottom down here. Yep, yep. That's my plan. On Venno, I want you to sit really, really far back and save your four staff for Zeus. This is like very important. In fights. I'm gonna grab mid wave and still TP. Uh, yeah, you're sorry, pretty. Save what for Zeus? Save your four, four staff. staff for Zeus and sit really far Got fucking it. back. Your job is to protect Zeus. Got it. You can pick this wave. I'm going to one in the back. Supports are respawning, so they might look to go on you now on Night Stalker. Yeah, they're going now. They have. I have... Uh, I'm live. Blink, 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 blink. Nice. Okay. We had to use Night Stalker BKB, so we're not looking to fight. We're going to use Zeus Manta mid and go to, towards our Ancients and look to place a ward on the high ground and just hold it. it. Sell your uh, energy booster thing on Zeus. Mm hmm So we're purely defensive. If they look for a fight, we're kiting them backwards. Like, they have to overextend into us if they fight. We can take Tormentor because uh, there's nothing else to do right now. Uh, go push out top as a team. Okay. I have no idea where they are. They could have gone through the portal or they could have gone like this. So be ready for those two directions. They will not come from this way. You have to go bottom soon for the huge wave. Do not show your actual hero on creep waves ever on Zeus. Ever. That is what the Manta's for. Do not show your hero. They are behind oh, you. Smart, They're smart, behind smart, you with smart. a ward. Kite backwards. Kite upwards. Like up up here. Night Stalker can give vision. There oh, you guys some. see them now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we see Dawn mid. Hey, remember for. Donalty, remember Donalty. That Dazzle has to die eventually. Dazzle? Very good. Okay, be careful. Kite backwards. Keep poking. Dazzle has to die. Dazzle has to die. Anti mage. Anti mage. Okay. The ports are dead. We can keep kiting. We can keep kiting. They're eventually going to get locked down for you on, on uh, anti-mage. Patience. 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 Oh, God. Can you... Uh, hmm. Can we help our boy out at all? No. <laughs> You guys can turn, I think. You guys are stronger than you give yourselves credit for. This guy has 100 mana. Just don't use all your spells on his blade mill. You can TP on this creep wave on Zeus. On the one that's up here. Super low mana on, on air spirit. You can have to him. There's he, no he, way. He has no mana. It doesn't matter. Like, they're we're all good. dead. Like, you guys can pursue. It, it, uh, we're not afraid of him. Just, uh... Mm. Okay, it's good. Gyro's there. You can clear top on Zeus. We want to make Gyro help his teammate instead of farm. Uh, run towards bottom and clear that out. So whenever fights are over like this, everything we do is to like push ways better than them. So if that means helping, making Gyro help his teammate, that's like a big deal. Send your Mantle Illusions down the wave. I need some better micro than this, sir. Okay. Does Rumi spawn? I'll get it when I spawn, I guess. Yep. Roche is a uh, next objective. It's going to be bottom. I'm going to want you to walk forward on Zeus here and summon some Manta Illusions. 
I want you to walk forward in lane, please, on Zeus. Summon Mance Illusions, and then I'm going to have you TP mid and clear that. So summon Manta, TP mid. Be like, retreat immediately, though. Like, Q, run, 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 please. Just run, please, just run. UZ, UZ, UZ. Help our Zeus, guys. Can we get anybody mid? Okay, this is my bad for micromanaging Zeus. Uh, okay. I'll be careful about uh, min-maxing on Zeus, because uh, I don't want to get you killed again. That's my bad. So, we got to be very careful. Plant a bunch of defensive Venno wards. Hoodwink can maybe snipe the creep wave bottom. We're all trying to preserve our lives here. Roche is up. That might just be Roche. I don't think it's worth us buying back on Zeus. I'd rather fight them in base with Aegis and have Zeus buy back than fight them outside with Zeus Careful buying back. That guy looks alone, but they do you can run mid and top on heroes. They're all going to be bottom. So they're all, like, you can do this. They're all going to go bottom because of Roche. Yeah, they're on Roche. Yeah, they're all Roche. It's fine. Hoodwin can maybe stay and snipe bottom wave. They're all in Roche. It's really important if you snipe that wave. Top. Okay, so they're going to look to march down bottom. We have Zeus respawning in 30. Be careful of them going through the portal as Night Stalker, which is, looks yep. like what they're Running potentially away. doing. No, they're not. You can uh, go back. No, you can go back. Not, yeah, yeah, you're good. Back. You're good. Save buyback on heroes. I need people to have more buybacks. Uh, so, like, I need Venno to... Hmm. Don't finish that Ags. And don't buy components of items if you're not going to have buyback. Make sure you have a TP yep, on Venno. Our Night Stalker has a Nullifier now. So I want Anti-Mage and Night Stalker to look to jump the Dazzle at the same time. Be careful oh, of a fight. Fuck. This is bad. Use BKB ulti. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. This is where we lose the game if we die. I need bottom lane pushed out on Zeus. Just get out. Everybody, every man for themselves here. If we lose one, it's fine. This is why buybacks are important. Go push top wave. Go push mid wave. Zeus TB mid right now. Zeus TB mid right now. Right, right now. Right, right, right I now. I don't have a TP. Fuck. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, Anti-mage is pushing top. That means we're going to have to defend base. It's fine. Um, keep pushing top on anti-mage. You need to force a reaction. They need to come back to you. You guys are stalling for anti-mage's sake. Everything you do is to stall. They are TPing Earth spirit, Earth spirit oh. but that's not enough. That's not enough. Fight him. Yeah, if they TP more, then you run. This is good. This is really good. Yep, yep, get out. Good job, Anti-Mage. Good job. Oh, we, can, we can jump. We can jump. We can, we can jump. Uh, Vench. You don't have Night Stock royalty. It's a bit hard. Don't over chase. They can reconnect. Oh, you okay, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's over here. Dazzle. 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 It has to be quick. If you guys can't get them quick, they're going to be there. Don't go. Do not do, do, do not. do not go. Do not go. Do not go. Mm, this is scaring me. Get out, get out. Sorry, guys, I'm getting a little intense here. Uh, yeah, Zeus, TP bottom. That was close. That was a different call. TP bottom on Zeus. TP bottom on Zeus. TP bottom on Zeus. TP bottom. I'll only tell you to TP when I know you're safe to do it, but because they yeah, all. Yeah, I know. So keep I was going bottom. For the I got you, but your teammates can clear. That is the point. I need you to be clearing creep boys only. You can clear. Now get off the map on Zeus. They're gonna look for you. Actually, no, they just showed. You can go back. You can keep going. You can keep going. Be ready to go back to base on Zeus. Like I'm meaning, uh, like you'll be TPing back to base in 15. Keep going down bottom. Um, anti mage, I want you predominantly playing with the team now. You're like you're six slotted pretty much. Like I want us trying to protect this ward while Zeus plays the carry role on the map. I need you to go back to the team on anti mage. Zeus is going to match the next wave. Like, if they show on, our, on this ward, we can look to kill them. They have no Dazzle. Like, Anti-Mage, or uh, Zeus TP's base with, you use Manta, TP base, and go fight them. Like, right now, TP home. TP to your team. Yeah, this is really good. This is, like, insanely good for us. No Dazzle. I want a forced fight. We have Night Stalker ulti. Forced fight, please. Beautiful. Back out of Dawnbreaker ult. Anti-Mage got out. Oh, Anti-Mage is low. 
Just keep in mind, Anti-Mage is low. We need to keep using Zeus damage. Okay. We're still strong if they overchase. Zeus has BKB Manta. Help him out. Oh, you're just killing them all, I think. Yeah, nice Night Stalker buyback. Gyro's low. He has Aegis. Buyback on Zeus. This is the game-winning fight. Buyback on Zeus. We need to kill the Dawn. Nice. Very good. Chase more after this after this gyro dice. Chase more. Dazzle first. Dazzle first. Dazzle first. Other guy has 4k HP. We can chase this guy too, maybe on anti-mage. We have really good chase. Let the other heroes clear waves, like Zeus can go top. Go towards yeah, mid now, guys. Just walk down mid. Oh, he's, he's there. He's, he's there. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I didn't expect to find him. Zeus, go ahead and clear another wave, man. You got fucking bots. I want you to Manta now and TB bottom. Manta now and TB bottom on Zeus. You are wave clear duty. Manta and TB. I had no TP, man. Dude, I'm literally looking at your inventory. You have a fucking. I TP. didn't have. I, I didn't have. I'm done, it. I'm I'm done man. You. I'm done. We'll we'll show it in the replay. It's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> we will. Guys, he bought back on Gyro. Be careful. No, no, no. This is bad. No, no, no. Objective gaming. They bought back Dawn. They bought back Dawn. Disengage. Disengage. Get out on everybody if we can. Our anti mage. Dawn BKB down. Help our anti mage out. He has his BKB backpacked. Okay. We're getting out. They bought back. This is really good. They bought back. Anybody who has no buyback, be very safe with positioning. Everybody who has no buyback. All that matters now is which team has no buyback. So they bought back Gyro and Dawn. Uh, Wisdom Rune top. I want somebody to clear mid. So TP mid on Zeus. But do it defensively. Yes, very good. Okay, now we're going to head back towards top. I want us to stay on the map. We're going to use the pressure top as like a way to force them to react to things. That's the only thing we can do. So basically, we can use this ward to potentially get a snipe. Like Dazzle's walking out of base right now. This is great if we can snipe him. He's going like this. I have no ults. We see him like this. It's okay. We see them bottom. So like we can look to kill this Dazzle. So don't show heroes. Our wave top is going to push in. We're using this wave, guys. Please go towards the wave. It's making me so nervous that you guys aren't doing this. Look, okay, so we need to see if they come top. See this Dazzle? He's literally asking for it. See them coming here? See this? They're coming here. Don't show on the wave, if possible, on Night Stalker. Be ready. This guy's right for the picking, right here. Yep. You have Nullifier. Don ulti. Disengage. If we can force that anti mage. Don't come in on Gyro. No hard commitments, guys. Only on like Dazzle when he's by himself. Okay, it's fine. Veno has buyback. Good TP on Zeus. I'm proud of you. Get out on everybody else. Put your butterfly over your treads on anti mage. Keep going bottom on Zeus. Keep going. So remember, guys, kill, back off. Kill, back off. I don't want to see, like, kills and then lingering and chasing. Like, I'll, I'll tell you to chase more or not. But we're underestimating their damage output. Our Night Stalker and Anti-Mage are dropping really low. It's even worth considering... Uh, hmm, never mind. Let's just say buyback on all heroes that have it currently. Uh, push wave top on anti-mage. They're showing mid on uh, dawn. Okay, guys. So at late game, all I care about is that we regroup. So as little time as possible spent away from each other. So like push top wave on anti-mage. Push one more wave. One more wave. Because it's right here. And then I want us to connect mid. There's going to be a power rune. Maybe there's something there. I want us to do like this right now. All heroes. Power Rangers assemble. DD rune? DD? DD? Or... Yeah, anti mage oh, yeah. can just take it. So we're gonna. This is a perfect target if we can get him, guys. Nice. Beautiful. Keep going nice mid. Uh, Zeus TP top. And rejoin the team ASAP. So you're just. You're literally gonna push that wave and then summon Manta for the next one. Just know you guys need to wait like 20 seconds for Zeus to get to you. So until then, we're just pushing. 
You also said this racks. Yeah, yeah, racks forward. top, racks top. Sorry, racks top. You guys don't have tier two bottom. Okay, so they're looking to go. Yep. No, I'm fucked. We need to we need to kite a little bit. They have a ton of damage. That looks almost like a rapier. It's not. They're gonna not kill definitely. our night stalker. Just back. Just back. Just back. Anything you can do to get back. Smoke yourself. Uh, blink TP. Blink TP, please. TP, 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 TP. Okay. Uh, Night Stalker, your entire purpose as a hero is that we see them before they see you. So yep. um, let's just keep in mind, even if we're trying to siege, you got to be careful with your positioning because they can burst you. Yep, yep. I'm going to get tier 5 items. Yeah, tier 5 items. Good call, good call. Oh, this is over. It's a fun game, boys. Might as well make it interesting for the viewers. Oh, I've been swapped. Okay, go towards top on anti mage. You can definitely clear that wave. Okay, so gyro, no rapier yet. Nothing like that. Are we, we're checking Roche on Venno. Um, Zeus buyback in two minutes. I want you to um, play towards mid with your Manta on Zeus. So just like walk to like uh, I can't ping like right, right here in Manta, and then walk away as soon as possible. Yep. Go back towards the bottom. Okay, so take super safe path to get to Roche, guys. We see Dazzle top. So we can actually go towards Roche right now. Uh, can Anti-Mage get there? Yeah, go through the teleportal. We see them in base. Let's actually blitz Roche right now. Everybody get there. Everybody go, go, go. Um, Zeus, can you TP to this creep wave and Manta it, please? TP ahead of you. And Manta, and run. Manta, and run. Okay. Um, Ags for... I'd probably say Zeus is the best one for you guys. Okay. So let's get that tier 2 bottom. We're just sieging. We're not really Where trying to ag force a fight. Where the Ags go? Uh, anti mage picked up. Jeez. Remember, guys, our goal now, since we're sieging, is to let them go on us a little bit too far, where Dazzle gets stranded and we kill him. Oh. So uh, you're sieging, guys. You're sieging. I'm not sure what you're worried about. Is there a problem? No, I'm thinking about the block of cheese. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about that. That doesn't happen. That's fake. Uh, can we camp? Can we ward this high ground and camp high ground? We always want high ground advantage. I ran out of wards. More important. Okay, that's fine. Anti-Mage can walk in. Never blink into the tower. You can just walk in. Never blink in. Keep kiting. Keep kiting. Look for Dazzle. You're a bit too far on Night Stalker. Your team cannot connect. Gyro's going to be out of mana soonish. Gyro BKB. Really good kiting, guys. Keep it up. Keep this kiting up. Super good. I'm out of mana. Earth Spirit's chasing too far. Our Zeus is out of mana. Go back to base on Zeus and then uh, rejoin the fight as soon as possible. I haven't swapped. Uh, I got the bus. Okay, just get out on everybody else. So our Night Stalker, you're going a bit too far. And yep. uh, we need to really focus Dazzle. I need my anti mage to somehow jump this Dazzle. Like, I want you to be, like, forcing people to go on you. And then we need to keep an eye out for Dazzle. And then you blink on him. And we want to trade your Aegis for Dazzle. He's way too important. I'll tell you guys, if Dazzle's alive, we lose the fight. We have to kill him. That guy, he heals everybody. Minus armor, plus armor. It's just too much. So yeah, run towards bottom is Zeus. Dazzle, number one, enemy number one. Careful on mid. Earth Spirit has Giant's Ring, so he's very scary. I used to get vision. I worked pretty too hard on the Dazzle. So we look, uh, we can potentially look to like poke the mid, like so. Zeus TP back base. We have Aegis. Has to be Dazzle, guys. It has to be Dazzle. 
You guys can keep chucking your spells out, but the jumpers have to get Dazzle. Look Anti-Mage for Dazzle. Nice. We can chase now. They will actually die over time. Dazzle bot back. Reset. This is really good. Dazzle's back. Dazzle's over here to the left. If we kill Dazzle, it's huge. Nice. We got Dazzle again. Night Stalker, no buyback. Let's reset yep. resources on heroes, if possible. We're very low. We need health on Hoodwink and Anti-Mage, and we can look to go again. Do we have a smoke? We have a smoke on Hoodwink, so everybody get HP. We're going to clear mid wave with Zeus, and we're going to smoke immediately and fight them. Gyro, no rapier or anything. Venge is the best target. Actually, no, sorry. Venge is an illusion. Oh, they're like overzealous. We got this. Keep up the kiting plan, guys. Keep it up. You're nailing it. Nice. Perfect execution, boys. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. And Zeus TP top. <laughs> okay, so we got a Dawnbreaker buyback. Can somebody push... Hmm... Let's go for the end here. Let's go for the end. I think Gyro has no buyback. Anti-Mage, run it down mid. If Dawn has buyback, Gyro should too. He saved it. Well, let's find out. If he buys back, uh, I want Zeus to walk all the way bottom and get mana. Don't worry about that Invis rune. Just walk as fast as you can. If he buys back on Gyro, we're chilling. But I want us to like jump Dawn before he... Um... Okay, maybe we're chilling. Should we be pushing bot? Uh, somebody can be cutting wave bottom. Mm. And I want Zeus to walk through here. You three sit on this hill and farm. Just farm this hill, cut the next wave. Zeus will take care of the ones that are going. So we have 60 seconds. Don't let them walk onto this ward. All we care about is protecting this ward as you three. We want to cut the next wave and protect that ward. Zeus will connect. After this wave on Zeus, I want you to TP mid and Manta it and then connect to your team. Night Stalker's up in five. Get to the team as fast as you can. TP mid and Manta. Go to the team. This is perfect. Gyro's dead for 50. We're looking for Dazzle on Anti-Mage. Remember, look for Dazzle in the back. Venge is about to die to Night Stalker. Guys, pipe back. Let's not dive. It's fine. We have no BKBs. Let's chill. This is really good. We almost got him. Oh, shit. No, no, no. We don't have to force anything. If it's not Dazzle, trust me, I'm Dazzle is really the only enemy that truly matters here. I went too far. I might die again. I'm fucking out. And... I'm out of mana. I'm out. Yep. Get out, guys. Get out. Get out. Get out. Everybody in for up. themselves. Yeah. Oh, God. I fucked up. Once again, if it's not Dazzle, no need to commit. It has to just be Dazzle. Everyone else is a fucking bait because they just get graved and shit. It's just a bait. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. You know, it's okay if we learn the same lesson 10 times as long as we don't do it in the future, you know, in the in the later games after this. Uh, Zeus, I actually want you to run back towards bottom. It's really important we stay on the map here. You have wards. You're, they're protecting you. We want to force them back into their base. And then you'll be TPing back to base to defend. Maybe even snipe that courier. It's a dazzle courier. You can actually fuck with this Dawn a lot. I think you might even be able to, like, force him to use spells. See this Dawn? Like, uh... Hmm. It's fine. Uh, go ahead and TP back to base now. It's a little late now. Gyro still no rapier or anything. Uh, buyback? Uh, hold buyback unless a fight breaks out. Where they dive your team. Let your team try to stall. We do have fortification if he walks back up again. Keep poking him with Zeus. You can put your bots in your backpack and put the Octarine in. Keep poking. We want to hold for 20 seconds, guys. We don't want to buy back Anti-Mage. We're no longer buying back. No matter what. You're not buying back. If they take the racks, it's fine. You have Leap on Zeus? Nice. 
Nice. Or staff me if anybody uh, has it. Can we help him at all? Oh shit. Let's nice. fucking go. We have Zeus ulti. This is a really good chase. Look for Dazzle on Antimage. Dazzle. Use your BKB to kill Dazzle. Very good. Still alive. Oh. Oh, that wasn't a creep. You will buy back on Antimage. Buy back. You guys got this. They can't fight buybacks. Gyro's been ultied. Nice. Keep pursuing. Keep pursuing. Zeus is super strong. Do not let him get out. Keep going. As many victims as we can find. Okay, so anybody that does not have buyback, be super fucking careful. Zeus, can you pick up that illusion rune and send it bottom? <laughs> Run back to your team, ASAP. Please. <laughs> okay. We're going for Siege Tier 3. Because we don't have buybacks. We, they, everything is about not dying if you don't have buyback. Anti-mage, no BKB, so let's chill. Okay, Hoodwink has buyback, so it's fine that he died. Uh, please migrate your Manta Illusions mid and clear them bottom. Okay, so Anti-mage, you can just keep farming, like, just be very chill. Your your life is of most importance. We can go back, we can go back to bottom wave, though, because they left when you get the chance. Um, so we have only buyback on Zeus. Oh, no, we don't. We have buyback on Hoodwink only. I'll have it very soon. Yeah, Night Stalker has it in 40 seconds if he sells something. Or, yeah, gold. yeah. Keep pushing bottom wave on Anti-Mage. We have a ton of vision around there. We might actually be able to snipe this gyrocopter. Be patient. Hide, 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 hide. Can we get everybody here? ASAP? All we care about is sniping people randomly. They're showing on separate waves. It is dawn, though. Okay, Earth Spirit's kind of a giga chad. Be careful. Your call, though. If you can burn all of his mana. Half mana. Uh, the They're supports not are not there yet. I think we just back off. I think this is a missed opportunity. Zeus TP mid. Everybody else head towards mid. There's a Venge here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look for supports. This is good. If you find him. Yeah, yeah. You can blink on him. It's just, it's just Venge for now. It's too late now. It's too late. Uh, give yourself a TP on Zeus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Got I know that. I know what happened either. Yeah. TP base on Zeus. Yeah. Okay, we're doing this now. That was weird. My TP disappeared when I moved. Yeah, boots if you the... don't finish the TP with Boots of Travel in your inventory, then it'll do that. Mm. What, usually, what should I do when I'm six star like this? Don't show on creep waves uh, like this. Is what you should not do. It is information game now. Stop showing on creep waves if you're six slotted with no buyback. Please be very careful. We don't need to send Manta Illusions down waves either. Um, it's just we need to be ready to fight at all times. Everything's about vision and being ready to fight at all times. That is all that matters at this stage in the game. So they're doing Roche. It is what it is. Can we TP mid on Zeus if you have it? Yeah, TP mid on Zeus. Push out top. They're going to march down mid. So it's like I almost want Hoodwink to not just die purposefully, but like do things that are sacrificial if other people are getting killed, if that makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I have my back now. Okay, Night Stalker the same. We want Anti Mage's BKB to be used to kill Dazzle. Okay. We can, we can push top wave. You can even look to stall on everybody else. Leave Anti Mage on the map, stall on everybody else. So TP home on everybody else. Anti-mage, I want you to look to, like, clear pressure bottom racks, is what I want you to look Gyra to do. came from down there somewhere. Don't be too crazy, though. They they all left base. Be careful on anti-mage. They all left. They all left. You're you're getting hunted. T I'd actually just TP home on anti-mage. TP home. TP, 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 T
We do. Yes. I want us to smoke out of base now. Manta Illusions on anti or on a Zeus bottom. Zeus Manta Illusions bottom, and we smoke as a team. And we right. fucking jump Dazzle. Dazzle. You're going to ulti on Night Stalker. You're going to be near Night Stalker on Anti-Mage. So you can jump whoever he jumps. And it's going to be fucking Dazzle. They're all up here. They're up here, guys. They are up here. Go to this uh, Watcher and push your ulti on Night Stalker. And be ready to fucking jump the Dazzle. They're all over here. Keep going. Keep going. Faster, faster. Fuck this Dazzle up. Ulti on Night Stalker now. Look for Dazzle. They're all this way. Just keep looking. Keep looking. Dazzle's your man. See him? He looks so juicy. Very good. Get out. Disengage. Now, game plan is on. Kite. Kite, kite, kite. Poke, poke, poke. Keep kiting, keep poking. This is fantastic. Aegis down on Gyro. Dawn's getting controlled. Earth Spirits use Kick to save. Keep fly keep supplying vision on Night Stalker. Don't commit. Buy back on Night Stalker. This is the game winning fight. Earth Spirit's really low. If we have anything. Nice. Gyro shouldn't have Satanic for a bit, guys. He can be focused. Very beautiful. Fucking awesome, guys. Fantastic. Easy game. They bought back Gyro this time, so they don't have buyback. Zeus can clear one more wave bottom. Um, somebody can clear mid. I guess that's Night Stalker in this case. And then connect back to your team top. I think we're going to end here. Oh, <laughs> oh <no>. that's awkward. <laughs> the one guy that's alive. <laughs> you guys can tell him, yes. Dazzle enemy number one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, BSJ words, dazzle enemy number one. <laughs> it's really annoying in high tier pubs when the enemy team knows that. And I, my teammates don't know that when I'm Dazzle. It's really fucking annoying. I just get focused and my teammates don't do anything to help me. I'm like, fuck. Uh, I think the game is over, but let's uh, keep on our heads. Maybe they have buybacks that I'm not aware of. I do have BKB ult again. Okay. Everything to, if you don't have buybacks on anybody, just remember never hard commit. You're only allowed to hard commit if you have buyback. I have buyback. Boss. But if you have BKB, you can like go in and then kite backwards. But yeah, a goal trip. It's on an eight minute cooldown again. Yeah, I got you. This wasn't exactly, you know, the perfect content for. Look how smooth it is. A BSJ coach. At the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's really. Uh, fun. I made a plan so, from the like, start. So, okay, the Dazzle go. Hmm, I would hit him. Then I would go too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny because. Uh, I mean, it's it's all in good fun. I appreciate you guys doing this. I, you know, I'm glad you're... I, I mostly had fun because... Or not mostly. One of my favorite parts is that I coached Synergy for a really long time. So he's oh. heard this way too much. And then uh, I get a pick on him now. Pretty okay. funny. <laughs> Let's go, boys. I think we can end here, but everything's about ending. Creeps are coming in. Backdoor will be off in a bit. Who is here? I was thinking, Earth Spirit has 7,000 HP, so let's kind of just ignore that guy. Dazzle, enemy of the state, boys. You just keep hitting buildings on anybody who's not hitting Dazzle. Okay, Anti-Mage is dead with no buyback. Can we hit the buildings on Night Stalker? You do so much damage. I just want to end the game, guys. Let everybody else hit heroes. Just keep hitting buildings on Night Stalker. Keep hitting buildings. Beautiful. Fantastic. Nice. Good. Beautiful, guys. Easy game. No question. I just, I'm going to give a quick recap of the game.
Uh, this is for you guys and also for the sake of the video. So basically the idea for this content was I wanted to show the difference potentially of what it was like to have a coach for a team that was kind of helping unite the vision of the game more so than individual things. I realized as the game went on that I did need people to do individual things in order to make my vision happen. So I ended up micromanaging later on in the game a bit more than I wished. Just general comments on individual things such that we can, um, you know, help you guys maybe be better for your future games. I'll just go down the line in terms of the scoreboard. So for Anti-Mage, um, basically what was happening early game was you were showing yourself on the map when that wasn't happening. So you're getting hit by a bunch of random heroes and taking like 500 damage. And that just means you can't do your job in the game. So it's like, if you only show on waves when they are either showing or grouped, then you won't take that random damage and then you'll have impact in the game. Uh, that's like mid to early and then later it still applies. For Zeus, it was a matter of, uh, I think when I was communicating to you to push waves, it's probably a combination of ping and the fact that you probably don't normally buy Manta on Zeus. The idea is that there's going to be waves that you're pushing very safely. Like it has to be very quick and get out and then there's going to be waves that you're like perfectly safe so the times where like in my head i'm telling you to tp i know i want you to literally tp and like nuke the wave once and run but that's because you know i don't have time to communicate that so i want you to know in the future that like don't be afraid to make these tps but know like oh that's kind of a dangerous tp but like kind of look for when i said that during the game when you're like watching the vod for night stalker honestly i actually don't have too much to say other than patience and fights i think you got a few of the fights you played insanely well, and then a few of the fights, like, you kept getting baited into committing. So just remember the vision of the game. If you, like, just the few times that you kind of just said, ah, I can kill this guy, even though it's not the Dazzle, then you, you know, you blinked in and died. So let's, uh, let's just kind of remember that. And then, honestly, I really like the way you played on Hoodwink. I, I didn't let's actually go. notice anything super obvious to me. Um, maybe... Uh, look to be a bit more pesky on the map in terms of those creep waves. Like, when we know they're going Roche, the rest of the team is going to go, like, top and mid to push, but you may be able to, like, chill in the trees and, like, snipe some creep waves. So when you're, like, this super elusive type of support, if you know what objective they're going for, you can actually, like, stay on that half of the map, potentially, and, like, cut the wave effectively, so when they take the objective, then they won't be able to get more. Something like that. So just think of be a little bit more sneaky with your farm on the map, is my only comment for you. And then for Venno, I think you retreated on the map a lot. I, I had that one time I, I called you specifically on just pressuring top. When the opponent has really strong group up like this and your cores don't push towers at all, your job as Vino and a lot of times can just be to like camp yourself near a tower of theirs and like play as far up on the map as possible with the goal of like, hey, how do I get them to respond to me as close as possible without dying? Meaning like you're pushing that limit where if they kill you, it's maybe three or four heroes that they had to TP and that sucks for them, and even though they killed you. Um, that's especially important when you have cores like Zeus, Night Stalker, and Anti-Mage, who just none of them hit towers. Like, none of them are going to do any pressure to towers. So it's kind of, like, worth doing that if it means there was no pressure because you weren't doing it, if you know what I mean. Um, it might be less worth it if you have a core that is able to hit towers. For the other team just so you guys are aware i didn't i'm not able to like talk to you guys too much about what you individually did wrong because i wasn't watching your game but i want to tell you guys really quickly what we were communicating that i think helped make the difference you guys had gyro who's low range and has to stand his ground and you have dawn who's like pretty kiteable as a hero um that's like a lot of her heroes she matches up bad against are heroes that kite her so and then you had two backline supports that were fearful of getting jumped so we had to make sure that we didn't hard commit on you because your heroes were kiteable and the only hero that could really chase us with earth was earth spirit so we wanted like basically earth spirit to have to go too far dawn and gyro to be controlled and then the supports to reveal themselves and then we just had to kill the fucking dazzle because that's just like how it is Thanks. our lineup was all about Venno damage over time, Hoodwink damage over time, Zeus damage over time. And if you guys have a fucking Dazzle spamming heal, then we can't win the fight. So um, I was just like, guys, this fucking Dazzle, like all you're trying to do is bait them out of position to kill this fucking Dazzle. So, you know, <laughs> uh, you probably felt that when you're playing Dazzle. So sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, can, can, I, can I ask a quick question? What should I have done? Because I get I got jumped by Night Stalker by AM. To be honest, there's not too much you can do uh, in this type of circumstance. The only thing I can really say is that potentially as a team, 
you guys can be more ready for the fact that that is exactly what we're going to try to do. That's really all I can say. And if they have Night Stalker anti-mage type heroes and they commit fucking BKB to kill your Dazzle, then that just kind of is what it is. Like, you can even say, like, Venge, I need you to be ready to swap the Dazzle. Like, Venge swap needs to be saved for Dazzle. You know, like stuff for like this. The main thing in games like this is sometimes you can't always do something about something, but being prepared that that's the enemy's win condition. So what you'll see when we talk, when you see me in the video screaming at my team is that a lot of it was like, patience guys, kite, kite, like, Look for the Dazzle, wait. Like everything I'm doing is saying, this is our win condition for the fight. This guy has to die. We can't hard commit. And then you're gonna see like several times where either Anti-Mage or Night Stalker or even Zeus at the early game used his E to jump in and then they die. And it's like, so there's gonna be great examples of people kind of breaking formation and over committing a bit. And you'll just see how much patience high tier Dota requires to have like this exact vision of what the fight is supposed to look like. So what I thought was really cool about this game was there's little moments like that where you can see like the second somebody on the team kind of breaks that like they end up dying or like you know losing all of their hp and not being able to fight so you guys can kind of see that like every single game there's going to be a very specific way to win fights it's going to be different it's not easy to identify but the idea being is that over time, I want you guys to look at team fights like this. Like, how do we win? Is it long fights? Is it short fights? Do we kite them? Do we target somebody specific, you know? And uh, that was something we got a really good dose of in this game, just because your guys' five man on Dire was like insanely scary. And to be honest, the Radiant lineup just kind of sucks because we don't have tower hitters for like the first 50 minutes of the game. So it's like, honestly, if we're going to win this game on Radiant, I'm not too shocked. It went... 75 minutes i mean i you know obviously in in I ideal world it would only go like 50 but if you look at our lineup we don't really have a way to end the game until very late so overall you know i just want you guys to know that this was really fun for me i enjoyed this experience i hope you guys did too even uh even Synergy, who got yelled at a lot for his split pushing. That was awesome, dude. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> so I, I know for Dire Team, it's unlucky. Like, I just flipped the coin. I can't coach both teams. But I probably will be doing more content like this in the future. And every time I do one of these lobbies, I will just be flipping a coin. So I apologize if people kind of get singled out. But the goal is meant to be that the video for the community and for everybody that gets to learn from this, including you guys. Um, I highly encourage you to watch it back and just hear exactly what we were talking about in fights. And for your guys' perspective, just being aware of it is super important. Like, oh, that's how BSJ views my hero or like BSJ views my role in the fight or like how they should approach fights or who on who on Radiant's team does what. Um, you know, I mentioned that Night Stalker kept trying to kill Dazzle and Anti-Mage was hitting the Earth Spear. And I'm like, okay, future fights, I need Night Stalker to find the Dazzle and Anti-Mage also needs to try to jump the Dazzle. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure you were feeling that more and more as the game went on uh, on Dazzle. So sorry about that. But uh, yeah, so thank you so much, guys. Are there any last minute like comments or concerns? Can I ask yeah. one more question? Sure, go ahead, Sinister. Um the gyrocopter was our last pick you said one of his uh, weaknesses is that he can be kited and his short range what would have been a better pick for us um, we had the venom answer and the hoot ring we saw and i don't hate the gyrocopter i think it was fine i don't i don't hate the gyrocopter I, okay. I played gyro and i debated buying a hurricane pike do you think that would have been a good call yeah generally in games like this since uh, we're talking about like earth spirit being the only one that can roam around the issue with this is that you guys have a weird situation where you have to protect your supports while also being able to like jump the back lines. So what I would really say is that I think my recommendation for you guys as an overall game plan, I don't want to like single anybody out, but I think every one of your items, if you guys wanted to win the game, would have been geared towards that five-man ball being able to clump so that at no point we can jump the Dazzle. So like, instead of Dawn having Echo Saber, Deso Blink, you know, you have, on Dawn, you have like, you know, Halberd, AC, Satanic, stuff like this, you know? Uh, where you're just planning to sit right next to your team. And what's going to end up happening is, is that I think your win condition with your lineup specifically is more geared towards um, your first four or five items doing that. And since you're against heroes like Anti-Mage and Night Stalker who don't offer lane pressure and they don't offer tower defense at all, that you would have hit this like 30 minute timing where we just can't fight you and you just end the game. Remember when you guys won that one fight and we were trying to defend against you and you just took the racks? Like, I think if we had more items geared towards that timing you 
couldn't have like we wouldn't necessarily be able to do anything about it anytime you want to fight so in games like this i view it as like if you make it so that when one slip up from the opponent costs them a racks at 30 minutes and it does it again at like 36 minutes that that's like how you win this game so it's more so for you guys thinking about the weaknesses of this radiant lineup like i even talked to radiant about the weaknesses of our lineup when we drafted and so that that thought that i had it's now on you guys to see how can we punish this exactly because it makes sense that you want to catch the zeus you want to catch the Venno and the hoodwink as dawn like i see what you're going for but since you can't afford to ditch your supports and your gyrocopter also is going to stand his ground, this particular game, it might not have been the best option. And so even on like Earth Spirit, I think um, this sheep could be like a Shiva's guard. You know, it's like, yes, the disables are nice. I'm not even saying the sheep is particularly bad. I'm simply saying making it very difficult for them to blink into you might be the best option in the sense of like, we're just so tanky and we mitigate so much of their damage that they can't do anything. Well, that was kind of a spectacular thing when I, or as a, as a desert, when I managed to live, like you had no chance. Yes. But I got jumped in so many fights. Exactly. And that's why it's like, if you guys hit this 30 minute timing, we won't be able to kill Dazzle without dying on a bunch of heroes, basically. Especially if these like early ore items come out much faster. And uh, I mean, like even Ven just having some really nice ore items. But like, if you guys came out with like, these a bit early utility items that all meant to protect the Dazzle and basically realizing if he stays alive, you win. And the reason why it works like that is because Dazzle's AoE healing you against a bunch of AoE damage and Dazzle just gives his teammates armor and the enemy minus armor just by existing. So naturally the over the course of the fight, you're getting like 20 armor and we're losing 20 armor and you're getting like a ton of AoE heal and this Dazzle is just going to win it for you. Um, and this like tip the balance of Gyro standing his ground and just using Satanic and Butterfly. Like eventually the War of Attrition will go towards you guys and uh, we lose. So that's really all my comments. Does anybody else have other questions so we did kind of understand it by the end of it like on a given same mmr base we did realize that if the other team has a coach it's an extra pair of eyes that can discuss what they're doing wrong because we did um how do i say this by the 50 minute mark we were pretty sure that we could have won it the only problem was dazzle kept dying and i tried to stay there as avenge like I tried to swap him out. Uh, I did suggest Earth Spirit get an axe so that he can stone Dazzle, but he just keeps dying really, really fast. That was way out of our control. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if you guys watch the video back, you'll hear that I'm coordinating their smoke ganks. I'm coordinating how they push lanes. I'm making sure they have like the slight informational advantage on you. And then they're I'm telling them like, everything you're doing is searching for Dazzle. Like, so it's one of those things where obviously like the point of the video was kind of to show like if everybody's in perfect sync, like these are type of things that I only feel if it's like an 11K average like or a 10k average pub you know like this is the kind of stuff if i play 10k average pubs it'll feel like everybody on my team thinks this already without me even saying anything that's like so it's kind of meant to show you like what happens if everybody's on perfectly the same page and it's really great that you guys like came to a similar conclusion as the game goes on but if that's something you can see at zero minutes that's going to make your items better that's going to make your game plan better. That's going to make like your understanding of what's going to happen in the game better. So rather than reacting to something negative, you will avoid the initial death from Dazzle or whatever, if you know what that's I mean. That's kind of interesting because yeah. I thought this from the beginning. I was like, they are, if, if I live, they die. But I didn't know how to itemize against BKB, Night Stalker just jumping on me. Well, for you, I'm saying that once it gets to the late game and Anti-Mage and Night Stalker are allowed to navigate fights, your guys' advantage was in the map. Like, you guys push lanes better early, you you pr applied better tower pressure, you have better early momentum, like ganks. Like, every time Night Stalker ultimates on cooldown, our lineup's literally fucking useless. That's like one of the I, things I was... super early you can punish. I have uh, two quick questions. One is, all the time you wanted us to group in smoke, I felt that there were waves we should push out first. Uh, sometimes you told us to, but I didn't really understand the difference between the times you told us to get the waves first and then not to. I guess the best thing I can say is a lot of that is like instinct of the sense of urgency and how much that wave matters. Say like you win the fight, do you need that wave in order to... Basically, the best answer I have for you is sometimes you have the luxury to push the wave and sometimes you don't. Uh, meaning that if I know pushing that wave is going to delay the smoke too much, then I don't want you to push the wave, right? It's more important that the smoke works than the wave getting pushed. So it's kind of like, I guess I can just say that's a game sense that's created by thousands of games. 
of thinking that's about it fair. so yeah. just know that that is a conscious decision you have to make and feel free to like study those specific ones just under the premise of like hey what what maybe like did bsj think was like the sense of urgency to not clear this wave this time around uh, that's the best I got. The um, second thing I was thinking was I, I picked Nice Soccer kind of knowing we didn't have tower push, but I thought my mid would pick it. Should I just kind of assume, not assume the will pick the Kirk roll? I mean, the thing is, I know that Synergy is also mainly a carry player. So something that'll happen in your pubs is that like, yeah. it's just like in drafting and professional, they usually try to pick heroes that accomplish goals at the start of the game. Like they have their purpose well-rounded. I would never, if avoidable, leave something for your last pick in pubs. Cause like, it's not even a flame to synergy. He's just a carry player. So I assume his mid pool is not like that vast, right? So it's just, it's like one of those things where uh, in a pub, there's all types of reasons that your mid laner could pick the wrong hero. They're normally a carry player. They're wanting to practice yeah. Zeus, you know, they haven't played Dota in a really long time. So they weren't thinking about the draft. So if you see something, in a Dota game, whether it's in the draft or in the game itself, that you're capable of addressing, it's definitely good to take it into your own power and do it. Definitely okay. a good idea to do. Um, I've got time for like one or two more questions. I think um, I got, a, got one. Yeah. What's up? I, I was the Earth Spirit and like I was torn between staying behind and trying to bail the Dazzle and going in. So if I just stayed and hugged the Dazzle and every time you went on him and just press BKB, stone him and kick him away, like would have been like that was a good solution? Um, It's possible. It's tough because in this game, you're really the only person that can like disrupt Vino and uh, the back lines, basically. So I think you jumping the back lines kind of had to happen um, in this specific game. If somebody else on your team could jump the back lines, then you could definitely fill that role. But I think since nobody else on your team does that, I think what you were doing was pretty good, in my opinion. Okay. So basically, we didn't push hard enough. We we didn't use our early game timing. Yeah, I think if I think the window for you guys winning was like thirty to forty minutes, and I think that's kind of like a gyro anti mage thing too, like the matchup specifically between these two heroes. Like uh, early to mid game, gyro would do way more damage in fights than anti mage can tank, and he'll literally just die being near gyro. But as the game goes on, that's not the case anymore. And then the anti what's up? The last time it was really hard to kill Dazzle because it was all of his items. Once I got nullifier, it got much easier. Yeah, for sure. I mean, so in that case, you can even think like maybe the basher was a bad idea, and you should have just gone straight nullifier um yeah, over the basher that's like an example where you know you know your job in the game is to kill dazzle and you realize that since you didn't have nullifier that was hard and for future reference you know if your job is to kill support nullifier is always the item that fucks supports so there's um, nothing we can do about nullifier yeah. as a support i feel yeah i mean unless they have bkbs there's just nothing they can do so thank you so much for playing guys i thought it was a really fun game to play and coach through and uh thank you so much dire for um, given, uh, I mean, that was a really, I mean, I was going to say you basically almost beat it. Or you basically, anybody could have won that game. Fuck it. Um, that was a great yeah. concept. For a lot of you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It was a great game. Yeah. It was, it was a great game. It was, was hard. Was yeah. hard. Yeah. Hell yeah, guys. I love it. That's, I mean, that's what Dota is all about. Good games and, uh, with good people. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. It was quite a cool thing to see when people kind of broke formation, when, like we managed to accomplish exactly what we were going for in fights, how long the game goes with just a few small mistakes here and there. You can see like one slight overextension, one little hard commit, and suddenly the game goes 77 minutes. So quite a barn burner. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you like this content. Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.